So with the thefts of our Mopars continuing to rise, I keep seeing Challengers, Chargers, Durangos, Jeeps, and Rams in the local news. So I've been testing a lot of products and showing you guys things that can help you protect your vehicles. But with each video, I get a very common question. How can we disable our vehicles? Well, I'm happy to say I can finally answer that question and show you guys how to do it with a simple DIY installation. And the best part is if you guys are long-term work play drive subscribers, chances are you already own the product and this is gonna be a free upgrade. The firmware update for the Ram DT is releasing tomorrow and then the Charger, Challenger, Durango, and Jeep versions will be releasing shortly thereafter. In this video, I'm gonna cover the install of the Taser DT in a Ram. I'm gonna cover the upgrade if you already have the Taser product. And I'm also gonna cover the functionality of just this one single pin feature of the many features that the Taser DT has to offer. So check out this video, we'll get right into it. Let's just say someone has your keys or use that popular key cloning technique or your kid just wants to go for a joyride. Well, it's not gonna happen. You'll see the arrows flashing on the dashboard. This is only happening inside the vehicle and it's a reminder to enter your pin. If you don't complete the key combination in 15 seconds, or if you try to put the car in gear, she's going into lockdown. What you just heard was the brakes engaging. You'll notice I'm in drive. You'll notice all the blinky lights on the dashboard. Here I'm hitting the gas and we are not going anywhere. Now the only way to get out of this mode is to enter the key combination that you programmed in. This could be any combination of four to six presses. Uh, for most of us, we have those four cruise control buttons that we can utilize, but if you have the aux buttons as well, you can use those. And once your key combination is entered, you can drive the vehicle normally. The pin function will reactivate if you exit the vehicle with the car running and the keys, or if you shut it off and then turn it back on again. And another cool function is while the car or truck is in this mode, uh, we're assuming, of course, that a thief is stealing your vehicle. So it's flashing all of the lights in random order to draw more attention to it. I'm thinking they need to add a horn honk to this as well, or even an option in the menu to enable a horn honk. Let me know in the comments below what you think, and I'll make sure I get the information over to Z Automotive. So it also has another functionality, which is basically a carjacking mode, or a, I wanna call it the getting coffee mode, where you exit your vehicle, as soon as you open that driver door and leave with your key, don't mind the truck, we just went camping. Um, it starts a countdown timer, and I believe it's either 20 or 30 seconds from the moment you leave the vehicle. Uh, so now if I'm a thief and I see a running vehicle sitting in front of a coffee shop, I'm gonna hop in and I'm gonna try and go somewhere. And 13 seconds countdown still left on the timer, nothing's happening, no lights are flashing. The moment I try and put it, uh, so I stepped on the brakes, now all the lights are flashing, uh, my mirrors are flashing and I have to sit here and I can't go anywhere. I can't drive the vehicle um, I have to enter the pin code to move it. But meanwhile, like I said, somebody jumped in the car They're trying to take it. The lights are flashing drawing attention. So I'm gonna enter my pin to disable that There we go everything's good to go now This is also kind of referred to as the carjacking mode. So if you get pulled out of the vehicle and somebody jumps in, it's gonna allow them to leave so you can get to safety. And after that timer counts down to zero, it's still gonna allow them to drive until it's safe to engage the brakes. So what Z Automotive has done is they wait until the car gets down to about five miles per hour, locks up the brakes, turns on all the flashers, and they can't go anywhere. And of course, you are now 30 seconds in the other direction so you can get to safety. So let's check out the carjacking feature. All right, so you get out of the truck and go stand somewhere. So he's leaving the truck with the keys. The truck is unlocked. Okay, so key fobs left the vehicle. You'll see the flashers are now flashing. I'm gonna take off with the truck and I'm gonna drive for 30 seconds. I drive right around the lot. It is flashing right now, telling me that uh, we need to do something with the pin. And then when I get slow enough, it's gonna lock the truck up. Okay, 
so I'm gonna stop right here at a traffic light. Completely locked up now. I can't go anywhere. To do this firmware update on your Taser, you're gonna to wanna to head to the Z Automotive website, which I'll link to in the description. Head over to their support section and grab the ZPU. Pick the installer for your computer, Mac, or Windows. We're gonna do this on Windows. Once you've downloaded the installer, you're gonna run it and choose all the default options. And don't forget when you get to the section about installing the drivers, you're gonna to wanna to install those as well. While we're waiting for the install, this is a good time to mention that Z Automotive and WorkPlay Drive have been partners for many years. I received my tasers for free and I helped them test their products. And any links you use in the description below are my affiliate links. So WorkPlay Drive will make a small portion of their profits but you guys will pay the same low price. We really appreciate all the support from affiliate link purchases because all that money goes towards purchasing new products to test for other videos on the channel. Once you've got the Z Automotive Programming Utility installed or the ZPU, now's the time you connect your Taser. So whether that be the Taser or the Taser DT, you want to connect the included USB cable and plug that into your Taser. And once you see that green flashing light, it's time to hit the update button. Now once this firmware is released, you're going to be able to see it in the auto update. You hit the auto update refresh, you select the firmware, and you press the install update button. Now this process takes quite a few minutes, and you're probably going to want to make sure your computer either has enough battery power or is powered by the wall outlet so it doesn't shut off or go to sleep during the process. You're watching the update on screen at 25 times speed, so this is way faster than normal. And once it's complete, you just simply unplug your Taser product and go plug it back into your vehicle. So the Taser DT is for the Ram DT or the 2019 and up new body style. You want to move the seat back and then head up under the dashboard. It's going to be in this general area right here. There's your onboard diagnostics. You got the brake pedal. And then we're going to flip up under the dashboard in that area. And you're going to see that metal brace and the security module is right next to that. Those two wires that I'm playing with right now are the ones that you're going to want to pull out. To remove the wires from the security module, you're just going to go ahead and press on these two little tabs right here. And then you can bring the wires down below the dashboard level to plug in the Taser DT. And when you're done, you can stuff the Taser DT back up in the dashboard. Also, Z Automotive has an extension cable kit, so if you want to hide it somewhere, you're more than welcome to pick that up. I'll link to that in the description below. All right, so to use the pin functionality, you've updated your Taser already to the latest firmware. You've got the truck running or your car running. The engine is actually running. This is how we access the live menu. We're in the audio menu here. I've got the radio off so we don't have any music information on screen. Hit the left arrow. Hit the cancel button to bring up the menu, and we want to go to the live menu. Once we found the live settings menu, we're going to hit the center button to jump into that menu, and then we're going to continue hitting the cancel button at a regularly slowly interval until we get to the pin settings. Okay, now that we're at the pin settings, we're going to hit the center button. Okay. So we don't have the adaptive cruise control, so we've only got the option to use these four buttons and we can use any combination up to six and then we press this center button to finish the job. So for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use cancel. So you'll see that left carrot, cancel, cancel, plus. And now I'm done, I'm gonna hit that center button. My pin has been saved and that's how you save the pin. All right, so now say you wanna clear the pin. We've got the radio off, the truck is running, engine's going. We're going to hit that left arrow in the audio menu. We're going to go to light show, then we go to live settings. We hit the center button because that's where we want to be. Roll our way through the live settings until we get to pin. Clear pin. And we want to push this center button here to clear the pin. Pin's been cleared out. All right, so we started the truck. We've got our flashing lights here. We have 14 seconds to enter the pin. If you're on any other screen, that pin countdown does not show.
but the flashing lights on the inside will tell you. You just enter your pin, cancel, 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 up. And again, your pin could be any combination of up to six different button presses. And if you have the adaptive cruise control, you can also use those buttons as well. Now, let's say we forget our pin. We haven't driven the vehicle in a while or the pin, you know, we just don't remember what we set. Well, there's a very easy solution for that, but it's also very difficult as well. So let's get to that now. So let's shut the truck off. We'll pretend to open the door, start the truck up again. So now we've got our pin flashers going. I wanna go put the car in drive and drive away really quick. It's gonna lock me down, ready? Now I cannot go anywhere. Let's put the car back in park. Engine's running, got the brakes flashing. You've got uh, all the lights on the truck flashing because we try to drive away. So now we wanna get rid of the pin. So what we do is we're gonna go back to the audio menu. Okay, so the car's pin locked. We're gonna hold the left arrow, cancel. We're gonna enter the menu, live settings. We're gonna hit that center button. We're gonna hit the cancel button until we get to pin. Clear pin. Now, we haven't entered the code. The car knows that we don't know the code. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this clear pin button. You're gonna have to turn on your hazards. You're gonna have to hold your brakes and you're gonna have to hold them for more than 10 minutes. So there is a way out if you forgot it, but if a thief steals your car, they're gonna have to sit there for 10 minutes. They're also gonna have to know about the taser as well. And they're gonna have to know about the sub menus and the hidden menus and so on to get to this point. All right, that's it for today's video on the taser pin functionality. Don't forget this is coming for the Charger, the Challenger, the Jeep, the Durango, all in the next couple days or weeks. I'm not sure when their release timings are, but keep an eye out on their website and their Facebook group. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, please consider subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.